it's been a really good day and uh, just you know we're taking it for what it's worth right now people came out and really have supported us and that's you know I can't I can't tell you how appreciative we are for that after 20 plus years of roasting Thanksgiving turkeys today Brian Fortenberry is giving thanks to just that saying it's about the only normalcy he has left on the holiday once spent with loved ones near and dear to your heart Tomorrow, El Paso County moves to level red COVID-19 restrictions. Dine-in services will be banned, but restaurants can do takeout, curbside delivery, and outdoor dining. Fortenberry is staying hopeful. His restaurant, Front Range Barbecue, survived takeout last time, and he's confident they will again. But more than his own restaurant, he's fearful for his employees and others who he says need help and need it fast. I, I had several sleepless nights recently trying to figure out how we're going to keep as many people as possible and it's just not possible. You know, we've had to, to lay off over half our staff going into this next shutdown and uh, I'm worried about them, you know, like I really, that, that, that's my family. Fortenberry is asking for more aid from the local and federal government to cushion the blow these restrictions are having on people working in the service industry and small business owners. And in the meantime, with a vaccine on its way, he's asking everyone for optimism. Just want people to feel like not to freak out and it's going to pass. Try to stay positive and we'll get through this. A small sigh of relief for them. Many of the restaurants we spoke to say they were sold out of Thanksgiving meals and booked solid with reservations. Brian says today's sales will help get them through some rough days ahead. And certainly those rough days are expected. As homeless shelters in southern Colorado prepare for a possible COVID-19 surge, Springs Rescue Mission is one shelter that has been functioning on high alert for a while now. KRDO News Channel 13's Jasmine Arenas joins us live with the latest changes and their plan moving forward. Jasmine. The Springs Rescue Mission says it faces a big problem. That's making sure that people who are struggling with addiction or health problems do not come in contact with people who have tested positive for COVID-19. We've heard it time and time again. Winter will be one of the worst seasons for COVID-19, but it's also the busiest time of the year for the Springs Rescue Mission. <laughs> For six weeks, Jack Briggs has been bringing new ideas to keep clients and staff safe during COVID-19, using their new dining hall as extra bed space. We would repurpose that facility with cots or with uh, mats, and we would spread people out again. He brings a lot of knowledge to his new position, 